is shooting 61 percent and losing right now. Oh, so there's a three. That's a three. And he got fouled as well. He did two guys to make some threes. He said, I want to make some twos, not a lot of threes. They are shooting the rock, man. There's the extra pass. Where the body is the top ten. Oh, they come one of the elite Big Ten point guards at Wisconsin. Don't take that to a, a final four last season. Holds on the screen. Left alone. That's his seventh three point. Because with the Big Ten Power Five conferences, if you go 500 or better, there's a good chance you're making play defense. Blackman kicks it out. How much defense we're here for against Max Hosel? Kale Lock is, is an undersized four power forward. Doesn't look real comfortable trying to come out on the. This is the interesting thing. Hosel is six foot eight inch. He's a he's a big challenge. Both games tomorrow night on ESPN. Jamal Okafor is as good as advertised. So in my opinion, in Greensboro. A lot of uh, veteran players off the bench. Hopesville is a much better team, in my opinion, than Greensboro. A lot of uh, veteran players off the bench. Hopesville off the bench gets the three. The freshman from Calabasas, California. His reputation is as a shooter. <laughs> in fact, his Twitter biography reads, Max Hopesville, 16 with a flame throw. <laughs> Washington trying to black, but it missed the layup. And yet down there by inside traffic, tough shot, won't do it. Missed on the lob, Harvey right to the rim. No left-handed finish. Big hook for the Delta Devils and climbed to within nine. Oh, what a look from Farrell to Holzel. Big Ten basketball, here's Johnson in the lane. Nice pass, Holzel has his first five in the closest step. They hope to be in there in 2016. Oh, and careless with the basketball. Turnover they didn't have any against Northwestern, but a really good job. How about the delivery? On the run, and the layup is good for Hosea. He's done a nice job off the bench with quality minutes. You can say that about everybody today. On the drive, Hosea got the bank. Nice steal ahead of Yogi Ferrell. Nice dish down low. Out to Hartman, who kicks it to Hotzel. Goes left, dumps it down to Perea. Off the perimeter for Eastern Washington. Had a tight ball game thus far. Baseline picks and another highlight real finish from Troy Williams. In college basketball, he might have been the biggest guy on the floor. No numbers here. I'm going to stay 33 and 8 to close the first half. They had three more here, Dan. Now that's been the fourth. Both sold it. And Texas Southern has out rebounded Indiana. More, especially with the defensive boards, to get those long rebounds, those loose rebounds, because it just can't be on. 6 8 freshman out of California. That's down the first. Well, this is typical of Indiana. They it doesn't matter whether it's freshmen or seniors, they get to the line just about more than any team in America. And tonight, Indiana did never change. And how many times the first time I took the wrong people throw everything out of the window? Not there. 
thing to do is get established in the last night of Bull Ryan. Kids get better. They can force him to be able to the ball. That's another block shot. That's Hope's still under. Six minutes to go here in the first half. Milkovic lost it at a They get the ball to him the next time down the floor. It's going to pull the shot block and throw the away from the rim. Milkovic step back. They're coming at you full speed, then he hits you with the hesitation. And he goes finish with his all hand at the basket. Second team all Big Ten last year. Three point try is. Landon lost his footing, but it will be a foul call on Matt Tosin. Is it my imagination that Jake Lake is trying to attack people off the match? What type of out forward his body is? He's not playing with his hitting. for Indiana, in the post for the first time. Trying to tie Wisconsin at the top of the Big Ten. On number 13, Maryland can take over sole possession. You have to give credit to his family and his father being his coach. Barry Ellis is a throwback to the days where players out Indianapolis leads by four. As size of, well, this whole show, I should say, drives to the bucket, went up for the dunk, and was fouled. And it looks like Matt is a little bit shaken up. Also, gets the basket on his back to her cut. And you see Barker losing track of his man. You know, we're close to him going up to the perimeter where Holso goes baseline. That's a play there by the freshman from Calabasas, California. Holso holds dual citizenship in both the U.S. and Germany. Played for the U18 team for Germany most recently. And he drains the first free throw. And hey, he's one of those guys who not necessarily a ton is expected from him, but any contribution he can give off the bench is going to be a welcome one after averaging 16 points last year in high school. And the uh, reason an injury was a bit of a concern, mm -hmm. so it's good to have him get some minutes because, sure, Indianapolis was good in D2, but you're still going to see him. During the first 20 days, you and I were talking about it. You thought that would be a point of emphasis. You have to believe it was, and the message was received.